Welcome to Round Roanoke, your source for what's happening in the Valley. I'm Jason Lisk. Roanoke City Public Schools has seen a rise in its homeless population over the years. Last year, the school year ended with over 600 homeless students. Using social media to make people aware of the problem, the school system quickly received a large amount of donations. They received enough donations to give every homeless student a bag full of supplies. Additionally, they also raised more than $6,000 to help homeless students. Joining me in the studio from Roanoke City Public Schools are Melora Horn and Justin McLeod to talk about the City Schools Homeless Fund. Welcome to the show. Thanks Thank for you. having us. So, uh, this is something that I don't think a lot of people think about uh, would be students that are homeless and, and what their needs would be. So tell us a little bit about what the Homeless Fund is. Well, the Homeless Fund um, was started by Justin posting some things on social media, um, just letting them know how many students we had identified. And I think that over the weekend, it just really took off and people um, started, we had a lot of views. People wanted to know more about that and, and especially how they could help. Mm -hmm. And Melora, you are the homeless coordinator, is that correct? Tell That's us correct. what that role entails. Um, well, I coordinate our program for the school division, and um, I have another um, staff person that also assists me. And what we do is we just ensure that we are identifying our children that need to receive the services, and with that, um, make sure that they have other supports and resources to help them during that time of transition. Okay. And, and like I said, this isn't something that you know, the typical person I think would think about that students are in, they're in school but they're still homeless and homelessness can take on many different forms. It's not always the person on the park bench. So tell us about what does homelessness mean? Yeah, and that's a really good question because we get that a lot. And, um, you know, even when I first started this um, position, um, I've learned a lot over the 13 years of, of doing this. And I've been educated about homelessness and what that really looks like. And um, for, for our purposes in the Department of Education, uh, families and their children who are living somewhere temporarily because they've lost housing, and it could be because of an eviction, homes mm -hmm. condemned, house fire, domestic violence, um, many different things that could happen that causes them or forces them out of a permanent residency. And then, then they start living with maybe other people. They may stay in an area hotel or be um, living in one of our area shelters. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, why do you think we're seeing a rise in the number of homeless, homelessness? Well, I attribute that um, not only to the fact that even though we might hear the economy is on an uprise in some uh, aspects, we still have a lot of families who are struggling. And also, I think that um, it's because of awareness and, and that we're able to reach out to more people to help them, which, you know, even though that's a sad thing to hear the number that we have, it's a good thing that we do know about them mm -hmm. and that we're able to um, help them in any way that we can. If you think about it, a lot of these folks were struggling before right. the economy tanked. And right. when you get out or when the economy gets better, it's not as easy to get out of that cycle. You know, you often had got behind on your bills and now you go to sort of get your electricity hooked up and so forth and the power company says, you must pay a deposit because in the past you've had issues. So mm -hmm. it, it's sort of a vicious cycle, but it's something that continues even though the economy has gotten better for many people. And uh, the community, upon uh, hearing about, learning about the amount of homeless students, uh, what, what has been the response in the community? You know, I wasn't necessarily surprised that the, the response was as good as it was. I knew we would get a good response in the city of Roanoke because this is such a caring community. Many of us have lived here for many years. I think we were surprised, at least I was, the response outside of Roanoke. I mean, we were getting che checks from Vinton, Bedford. I think we even got some from Lynchburg. Uh, it's been overwhelming to see the churches come together, as well as a lot of private schools in the area. You know, we already sort of maybe compete in some ways, although not on a big level, but to see competing schools come together and donate. It. Roanoke Catholic, for example, was a yeah. huge amount of donations. When they brought them into my office, I was like, where are we going to put all this stuff? Yeah. Uh, the response has been overwhelming <clears throat> and heartwarming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great to hear that the commu you know, community would come together in that way. Um, so one thing you've got going on right now is, um, I don't know the exact story behind it, but a t-shirt was designed, and it's uh, the Help the Homeless t-shirt. How did that all get started? And It started with a Facebook post and then a response from one of our students at Patrick Henry Hi High School, Reese, uh, said, 
posted, why don't we get together with some students from William Fleming and do something? And out of that, with conversations, we brought the students together and uh, we discussed doing a t-shirt. And so this is it. I hope okay. it's okay to yep. hold this up. This was designed by the students. That's what we like about it so much is that this was designed by uh, you know Patrick Henry and William Fleming High School students so this is a student-led initiative and you can see it says Star Council which you know we are the star city and Star Council I have to look at my notes here on the back of the shirt is students take action in Roanoke and so right. we are sending selling these for just 10 bucks mm -hmm. okay. and a hundred percent of the proceeds are going to our help the homeless fund uh, we were able to get enough sponsors that we were able to essentially all the proceeds go to help our homeless students. Okay, and where, quickly, where can uh, the best you thing find to these? do is we are selling at Central Office. If you call 853 2816, we will hook you up. We will give you all the information. We also have it on our website as well as Facebook. Uh, we'll also be selling these at uh, several basketball games and holiday concerts that are coming up in the month of December. Okay, wonderful. Okay, well, Justin and Melora, thanks very much for dropping by. Thank thanks you. Thanks for, for having, having us. us. For more information on Roanoke City Public Schools and the Homeless Fund, visit rcps.info. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Lisk. This is Round Roanoke, only on Cox 9.